We run the training at the start of the whale season. We get a lot of whales arriving on our coast throughout winter. We have right whales arriving here for breeding and we have humpback whales migrating through at this time of year. A large whale entanglement incident is treated as an emergency and DSC has responsibility for responding to those emergencies but we, this is a multi-agency response so we have um, staff from DPI Fisheries and Parks Victoria also involved in the training and in the project. So what we've been doing today is practicing large whale disentanglement training procedures. Uh, we have a number of staff that are trained and accredited in the technique and the aim of the training is to do um, regular practicing of those techniques. So we've had um, five crews over the last two days out there practicing on a mock-up whale tail with an entanglement on it and they have to assess that like that's a real incident. This training is very important because the southern right whale is critically endangered in Victoria and it's only a small population that's using this coast and it's only slowly recovering from whaling. So the technique for disentangling a large whale is based on a technique that was originally used by whalers and it's called kegging. So that involves attaching some ropes to the entanglement on the whale and then attaching some very large floats to those ropes. And that will, the aim of that is to slow the whale down and to tire it out and to keep it on the surface so that we get a much better opportunity to get in and try and remove the entanglement from the whale. So um, when we get to the stage where the whale's ready to work with, we can um, use specialised blades on long poles to try and cut that entanglement away. The other thing that we're now doing is we've introduced satellite telemetry into the procedure so that if the whale is not able to be freed on the first day and gets away from us overnight, then we can hopefully relocate it the next day or when we've got the next weather window and we can have another go at trying to remove the entanglement. The thing that a lot of people don't realise about this work is that it is extremely dangerous, that these whales may have been tangled for a long period of time and they may be tired and weak, but they may not have been tangled for very long and they might be quite strong and aggressive. They do not know that we're there to help them. They are frightened and they will do whatever it takes to get away and that might mean crews, crews can be greatly at risk if they get too close. So the procedure is all on water. Crews are not get, do not get into the water with the whale. We don't do any diving. Um, it, it's all done from a, from a vessel. The majority of entanglements on whales in Victoria have been uh, rock lobster fishing gear, so ropes and pots. And um, we've been working with industry for about 10 years now to ensure that the risk of entanglement is minimised as far as possible.